as y'all can see here, I am leaving the child support office in Orlando, Florida. You know, I'm trying to find a way to to get this fee modified that child support has charged me for insurance. And they telling me, that customer service representative telling me that since I'm co-ordered to provide health care for my kids, that the fee that I'm being charged is based on my job. And um, there's nothing to be done about it because I'm court ordered to provide insurance for my kids. So regardless of whether I sign up for insurance or not through my job, they still gonna hit me with a fee. That fee comes from my job, which is, I don't, I don't believe it comes from my job because they're telling me my job has nothing to do with it. And regardless, my um my oldest son, his mom have him on her job insurance, and they say her her job insurance is secondary, mine is primary. So that means she paying what thirty four dollars a month for nothing for insurance, and they gonna automatically use the insurance that child support provide for your kids. You know what I mean? It's like this child support shit ain't no joke here in Florida, bro. I mean. It's crazy. I, but, um, I'm still gonna look into it more because you know I'm not the type of person that believe whatever these people tell me. So I'm still gonna investigate it more and see what else I can find out because it got to be some kind of way to get that fee lowered or take it out. I don't give a damn if I am court ordered. So they telling me I, I suppose they barely make a living to provide insurance for my kids. What the fuck they do that at? I did put in for a modification on both of my child support cases meaning it got be it got be a way where if, if my if my kids mom got my kids on their job insurance regardless whether I'm court order or not you know what I'm saying that could take that fee off me or either lower my child support or take away this fee. That's a, that's an option too right now. Either either my child either my child will gonna get lowered or that fee gonna get lowered. Something something gonna have to give it, it they gonna give me a way to survive other than struggling right here in Florida. You know what I mean? Cause I was sitting there explaining my situation to the to the to the customer service lady. She looking like, so? Who gives a fuck? I mean, if I could if I could have got her reaction on video for y'all to see how she looking like, man. Like it won't no big fucking deal that, that a nigga struggling behind child support. You know what I mean? I mean, I got a temp company. I've been starting working for it to Monday. Guaranteed 40 hours a week, 9, 10 hours an hour. But after they take, after they take 140 a week for child support, and then another 140 dollars a week out of my check for insurance, you tell me what you got left out of that. You know what I mean? Let's say nine dollars an hour, nine times four, that's 360. Minus taxes, that's another 50 to 60 dollars a week. You know what I'm saying? On top of 140 a week for child support and another 140 dollars a week for insurance. So that's already 140, 140. That's 280 on my check gone, and another 50 to 60 dollars for for taxes. That's 280 plus 60. That's what? That's already 340, right? That down to the whole motherfucking check, right? Fucking down. So you telling me? You telling me? I just supposed to accept? I just supposed to lay down and accept that shit? Man, you got me fucked up. Somebody finna tell me something the motherfucking day.